Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to show you how to tie up fluorocarbon leaders for pike fishing. And this is a video that a lot of people ask for. Um, I meant to do it for a while. I was hoping to film it outside, but the weather in Ireland is absolutely terrible at the minute. I haven't been able to go fishing in about two weeks. So I'm going to show you what you need to do this and the benefits of it. And yeah, we won't keep you waiting. We'll get it done nice and quickly. Okay, so guys, I'm going to talk you through all the stuff you need to tie up your own fluorocarbon leaders. I'm um, really easy to do. You only need a little bit of gear. So the fluorocarbon I'm going to be using is one millimeter fluorocarbon from Black Bay. So it's got a breaking strain of nine, between 90 and 100 pound. I'm um, really strong stuff, easy to knot. It comes in a, a spool of 15 meters. So if you think about it, if you learn to tie up your own leaders, you're going to save yourself so much money. You're going to get I don't know, would you get 20 fluorocarbon liters out of one spool of this? And for the price of this in a shop, you would probably buy two fluorocarbon liters of the ready-made ones from all the brands. So get used to tying up your own stuff, guys. It'll save you a fortune in the long run. So for the snap tackle I'm going to use is the Staylock snaps from Black Bay. I'd always recommend a good snap. These are Staylock snaps. They will not open. And um, this is what they look like if you're ever looking for them. That's it there. What they do is... They put the metal through the loop there and it catches on itself. So they're actually tricky to even open with your hand, let alone a fish to open them up in the water. If you're going to be casting lures that are expensive lures between 50 and 100 euro, the last thing you want to skimp on is this is a, a good snap. You get a packet of them for between 8 and 9 euro, 10 of a minute, and you'll make up you'll make up 10 litres for the price of buying one litre in a shop and you have so much more faith in it because you tied it up yourself. If you're anything like me anyway, I like to do my own things and have, have a bit of faith in them, especially for fishing for big fish. You don't want to leave a lure in a fish and you don't want to have any problems. So there are the snaps I use. That's the fluorocarbon I'm going to be using. After that, you can either tie your leader directly to your fluorocarbon using an FG knot or you can use this method. You can use a swivel at the other side of your fluorocarbon. So these are 150 pound rating swivels from Berkeley. Um, they're just what I had in the box, but you can use any swivel. I'd recommend getting a good strong one. Um, good strong swivel. There's no point having any weak links in any of this. So after that, you're just gonna need a lighter because you're gonna melt the end of it. Um, fluorocarbon goes rock hard once you use a lighter, once you heat it up. So that's gonna be the finishing stages for making up your leader. And after that, you just need either a, a pliers or a, a snips. The best thing about using the pliers is you can grab onto the fluorocarbon at the end. You're going to pull it nice and tight. It also has a little cutters in the middle of it. It's easy for cutting the fluorocarbon. If you do any mistakes, you want to do it again. And it also has this little hole in the middle there, if you can see that, guys. So that's very handy because at the end, you're going to be putting your fluorocarbon in between that. And you're going to be pulling everything nice and tight. You're going to tuck up the knot into itself. And that can be very useful. So look, you don't need much to do this. And you're going to save yourself a fortune in the long run. And you're going to have so much more faith in your own knots than the ones that you buy in a shop. So I'm going to show you how to do it quickly. And we'll see how it turns out. So guys, when you're choosing the length of your fluorocarbon leader, um, I generally go with about 80 centimeters to a meter. Um, as you can see there. Not crazy long, you can use it up to a meter, it doesn't matter. But the benefits of having a long leader is if you figure after catching a few fish that the end of your fluorocarbon leader is a little bit frayed from the pike's teeth, and it will happen after 10 or 15 pike, you will notice that the fluorocarbon is getting a few nicks in it. That's when all you do is you pick up your snips, your pliers, you cut off that 15 to 20 centimeters of line, and you just simply retie on your snap. And that way you still have your leader, this part of it is still perfect. You have a fresh leader ready to go and all you're doing is cutting off that much. So when you have a long leader, it gives you that advantage of being able to fish all day with the same piece. So I'm gonna show you how I tie on the knot now. All right, so to tie your knot, this is really easy, guys. You, you don't need to complicate this. So you're using a tick line. You're not gonna get more than two or three turns of it. I generally only use two. So you pass your fluorocarbon through your snap at the top end of it. You don't need to let out much line. All I'm going to be doing is a two turn knot. And I'm going to tighten it into itself. So as you can see in the video, just wrap it around once, wrap it around twice. And with that end, all you're doing is putting it back through the hole. You're going to grab the tag end when it goes through. 
linear hold, hold onto that and you're going to pull that tight so it's going to be a bit hard to do this on the camera generally I'd have this in my mouth and I'd be pulling it tight all I'm doing is pulling that tight there now tightening it up on itself so what you want to do there is grab your pliers grab your tag end and you're going to pull it nice and tight So you're starting to tuck the knot in on itself there now. This knot won't go anywhere guys. Once the fluorocarbon is tightened itself, it won't open. Um, from there, you use the little notch that's on your pliers. As you can see there, there's a little hole on it. That fits perfectly over the one millimeter fluorocarbon. And I just pull it tight there again. That tightens up the hole. As you can see, the tag end is starting to point out at a 90 degree angle from your snap. That's literally perfect. Once you can just stay tightening the knot nice and tight, there's no harm in pulling it a few times just to have it nice and snug. From there, as you can see, the tag end is out at a 90 degree angle. It's perfect. That's the way I like it. And I'm going to give it one last tighten. There we go. Nice and snug. Simple as you like, guys. There is your snap tied onto your fluorocarbon. This will not open. That's a two turn knot. Um, it's rock hard. What you want to do from there is So my plier says it snips on it really handy. Um, I'm going to snip off the end of that tag end Leave it in about a centimeter two centimeters Rock hard there it goes So there you want to grab your lighter because you're going to cinch the end of that knot You're going to create a bit of an, an, a nail head because fluorocarbon goes rock hard once you once you heat it up we burn it and that's going to stop worst case scenario you're not opening up that nail end is going to stop your knot from opening up and it's literally it's literally foolproof this is a really easy way to tie your leader so i'm going to burn at the end of it just melting it up it'll get nice and hard and from there all i'm doing is squeezing the lighter onto the knot it creates a bit of a nail head on it that'll go rock hard straight away you can do it again, heat it up again. There we go, burning the end of it, and then just squeezing it to give it a bit of a a, nail, a mushroom head. That's what it looks like. Oh, I don't know if you can see, it's not gonna focus. So that's gonna catch your knot. Worst case scenario, anything slips. That's ready to go, guys. That will not open up. These are really, really strong knots, really strong gear. I'm. So I'm going to show you quickly the other end how I tie on the swivel. So you just grab your swivel. You're going to do the same thing with the swivel as you did with the snap. Pass it through your fluorocarbon. There it is there. Leave it about three or four inches. I'm going to wrap it around once, wrap it around twice. I'm going to pass that back through your loop. And then all you're doing there is tightening it on it to itself. I'd usually have the tag end in my mouth and tighten it that way, but it's obviously not good for your teeth. You can use the pliers as well. I'm just going to tighten it quickly with my teeth. So that's that done. It's a simple two, two turn overhand knot. I used the hole in the pliers again to pull it nice and tight using the gap. Just keeps it nice and snug. That's what you need it to be nice and compact. It's really easy to do this guys. If I wasn't doing it on camera, I'd have two or three of these done in two or three minutes. So you can see the benefit of having a bit of preparation before you go fishing. You'll never need to buy a fluorocarbon leader again. You literally save yourself so much money. If you're using expensive lures, I'd always recommend doing this yourself. At least that way if anything goes wrong, you've only got yourself to blame. And you're using knots, you're not using crimps. I don't really, I don't really like the idea of using crimps. A lot of them, you'll hear bad reviews of them opening up on people, but if you're using knots that you tied yourself, you've nothing to fear. You want yourself to blame if anything goes wrong. So there's your tag end. Same thing again, I'm gonna cut that off about two centimeters from the swivel. There you go, you're gonna burn that. That's gone rock hard because that's the way the fluorocarbon goes. I'm going to smidge it into a mushroom head. There you go. 
Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So guys, there's your fluorocarbon leader. That's how easy it is to make it up. I'd use that all day long, no problem. Small lures and big lures. That will not give you any trouble. There's your leader, about 80 centimeters long. Really easy to do. Make sure you drop a comment guys. Do you make your own leaders? Do you buy them in a shop? You know, you can buy any of this gear, anything you want there from Black Bay. Really easy to do it guys. You can make up 10 of them in 10 minutes time once you get good at it. And you've got literally a whole season's worth of fluorocarbon leaders. I'm um, really easy to do. Right, so I've showed you the gear to use, how to tie it up. I'm um, just kind of a quick chat about why I use fluorocarbon in the first place. So pike fishing, a lot of people still use wire leaders. They use titanium leaders. And the new thing in the last few years is fluorocarbon leaders. So there's a few advantages of using fluorocarbon, guys. So say you catch a pike, he's in the net, he's wrapping around. They do a dead roll, a lot of smaller pike will do it. Um, the thing is, when you use a wire leader, it's a thin diameter, so it could be 0.3 of a wire material. So when that pike wraps up in the net, the leader is going to get wrapped around the pike and the leader will cut into the pike like a piece of cheese, hot wire through cheese, you know. I've seen pike do it in the past. Um, I've caught pike and I can spot the marks on it from lads that it's happened before, you know. You can see when it's happened before. So the benefits of using a fluorocarbon in that situation is fluorocarbon's a lot thicker. It's one millimeter thick. Um, if a pike wraps itself up in fluorocarbon, it's not gonna do any damage. Um, you can't get the same lesions as it would when you're using a wire trace. Look, there's a few little things like that. They all add up in, in the long run. Um, another reason why I'll use fluorocarbon is it's invisible on the water. Um, I know anyone that knows that about pike fishing, pike really don't care if something's visible or not, especially a line. But it's one of them things that you'll have a bit more faith in using it. The pike can't see my line, he's going to go for my lure. <laughs> that's the way you'll be thinking. Um, that's the good thing about fluorocarbon. It's abrasion resistant, so it's quite tough. You know, you'll notice the difference in fluorocarbon and mono. It's a lot tougher. It's a harder material. Um, you can pull it past rocks a few more times than you would being able to use like a, a hard mono. Um, look, there's a few things like that, guys. I know here in Ireland, the traditional thing to do a few years ago would be to use wire. But lately, fluor fishing, fluorocarbon has had a lot more benefits. One more thing that I will say is, if you think about it, if you're using a really stiff rod when you're pike fishing, so my rod is 130 gram casting weight. Um, I use braid, I use heavy braid, about 90 pound braid. So that's stiff, the rod is stiff. You're gonna be doing a long motion like that. If you're using a wire leader and you're using a heavy bait, there's literally gonna be nothing to give. The benefit of using the fluorocarbon is there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of stretch in the fluorocarbon. So that'll give you a bit of cushion. You won't have any of this stuff where you cast really hard and your lower breaks off because everything was so stiff. This will give you a bit of shock absorption when you're doing the long casts or when you're setting the hook into a pike. Um, look, it's just, there's a few things like that. Um, I could say the advantages the disadvantages of using fluorocarbon, you'll hear people say, pike have teeth, they're going to cut straight through it. Um, but I've never had it happen, and I'm using it a few years now. Um, everyone has their own opinion on these things, guys. Um, you know, if a pike hammers any lure and it really wants to break your line, and it's a big pike, you'll see yourself the power that a pike has. It'll, it'll break wire just as quick as it could break fluorocarbon. This stuff is really thick, it's really strong. Um, you could literally, you could pull a bus with that. <laughs> it's good, strong line. But um, look, that's just the way I see it. I'm not against lads that still use wire for lure fishing. Um, I have one or two wire traces there myself, just from what I used to use. But um, it's just, it just has a few benefits and that's just how I see it. And I can only share my opinion with everyone. I'm not against lads that still use it. The one thing I will say is if you're jerkbait fishing, I can understand why guys would use a titanium leader because you're going to be jerking the motion of the rod and you don't want the jerkbait to get wrapped up on your main line. But 
you could still use fluorocarbon in that situation. Um, there's no memory in fluorocarbon, so when you're jerking the lure, it's going to go the same direction as the lure goes. Um, you won't really get tangled up in that situation. So it kind of benefits and, you know, so there's just a bit of chat. My opinion on fluorocarbon, guys, it's not going to be the same as everyone's. Um, drop a comment. I'm really interested to hear what you think. Um, hopefully you can see the the knots and stuff in the video because I'm doing this at home. The lighting isn't great. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, guys, if you learn anything from it, drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, we're nearly into spring here now in Ireland. So we're going to be back to the normal uploads with the fishing. Thank God I can't wait. My trout season starts in 15th of March here on Loch Derg. Um, I can't wait for it. But we'll be out fishing for pike before then. Um, from February onwards. Hopefully the weather will settle down a small bit. We can get back at them. So thanks so much for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hopefully I'll catch you out here next time.